All right, here we go. So we're graphing this line. The reason why this is nice because in the right format, does everybody agree? All right, we can just plot the point what? Negative three. And then from there, we can go up what? Up four over one. All right, and we can just draw that line. All right, now if you want off to the side here, it might be good for you to say M is four over one and B is zero comma negative three. All right, that's what we're looking for. Yes, Palmer. Palmer, Palmer, four is four over one. Palmer, yes, yes, that is correct. Because the number four is four over one. What? The equation is already written. We're not writing the equation. We're graphing each line. We're not writing the equation. All right, here we go. Number three. Everybody should be able to look at X equals three and just say it's automatically a what? Vertical line. If you know that, you're in good shape. X equals three is a vertical line. If I ask you what the slope is, the slope would be what? Undefined. Thank you very much. Slope is undefined. Is there a Y-intercept? No Y-intercept on this. All right. It doesn't cross the Y-axis. All right. So here we go. Let's check out number five. Now we got a problem with number five. The reason we have a problem with number five is because it's not in the right format. All right. So let's put it in the form y equals mx plus b. So I have to move the 4x over. When I move the 4x over, it becomes what? Negative. I don't want you to put minus 4x minus 4x unless you just absolutely don't understand numbers. All right, I'm moving the 4x from the left to the right, so I change the sign. 3y equals negative 4x plus 9. Anybody got a problem with that? listen listen to me you want to do it the way i'm doing it right matt now listen to me though the reason i'm saying that is because you're putting it in the form y equals mx plus b do you agree mm -hmm. the x is in front of the number all right is it wrong if you put the x after no it just can be confusing all right now everybody we're going to divide by what so y equals negative four thirds x plus three. Slope is what? Negative four thirds, and it passes through what point? Zero, three. Okay. So plot the point, zero, three. From there, we go what? Down four and to the right. Palm, are you good with that? Anybody have any issues? Now, don't forget on number six, you got to divide by what? Negative seven, which is going to change the signs. We agree with that? All right, let's just do number six together. All right, we'll skip seven because seven is easy. All right, so I moved the 2x. So it's going to be negative 7y equals negative 2x plus 7. Then we divide by negative seven. Y equals two sevenths X minus one. Everybody good with that? What? Come on. I divided by negative seven, do we agree? So now everybody should be able to say our slope is what? And our y-intercept is 0, comma, negative 1. So from there, I go what? Down 1. Thank you. Go down 1 first. 
And then I use my slope, which means I'm going to go what? Up two and to the right seven. Anybody have any issue with that? And now we graph the line. Palmer, what? What do you want me to do? It's not a negative. Palmer, that's why I want you to sit in front. Move your desk over to the front, right in front of the board. All right? Come on, hurry up. I don't have all day. Let's go. Just pick up. You just you don't need it to move everything. Just where do you see it's negative? That's why I want you to sit right there. All right, every day you get to sit right in the front, front and center. Mr. Wash, how's that for you? You understand everything? Greep? Maggie? Yeah. All right. Let's check out number nine. Now we're writing the equation for number nine. All right. We're going to write it in the format. Y equals MX plus B. Put Y equals MX plus B. Circle the y-intercept. Everybody circle the y-intercept. And tell yourself that is the b value. So what's the b in this case? Seven. Seven. So now I have y equals something x plus seven. Now let's calculate the slope. Start from the left point and go to the right point. And what did I do? I went down three and to the right two. So the slope is negative three over two. And some of you are saying, well, I didn't choose that point. If you choose this point, you're still going down what? Down three and to the right two. Palmer, good. exactly right exactly right that's why they call slope rise over run it's the distance that you move up and down over the distance you move left to right all right let's check out number 11 everybody should be able to look at that right off the bat and say what mr williams nice work man y equals three anybody have any problems with that Y equals three. Anybody? The slope is equal to zero here. I'm not asking about the slope, though. I'm asking about the equation, writing the equation. Y equals three. Anybody have any issues? All right, graph each line using a table. This is way long time ago. So what do I put in for my X values? Negative one, zero, and one. Thank you very much. So if I put negative one in, come on, let's do the mental math. Four. If I plug zero in, I get, and if I plug one in, I get, Six. nice. So plot those points, negative one, four, zero, negative one, one, negative six. And there you have it. All right, now what I wanna do though is I do wanna take a look at number four. What numbers are we gonna plug in for number four? Negative two, zero, and two. All right, I just wanted to remind you of that, okay? We don't want to plug in the ones because we'll end up with fractions. Anybody have any questions with 14? I'm confused about what? Three halves times negative two. You have a calculator if you don't know how to do fractions. All right, I would not hope you would not need a calculator, but 
to make it sure you're right, you check yourself with the calculator. Yes, sir. Agree. So if like if x were to be five six, would we put x as six? Yes, very nice. Because you want the fractions to go away, correct? So if you multiply by six and divide by six, that's what that's why the fractions go away. All right, that's nice. All right, let's check out finding the slope. All right, to find the slope, write the formula. M equals what? Slope equals, what's the formula? Over. Yay, come on, guys. We definitely need to do that. We've learned that or we've written that a bunch of times. So here we go, 415. M equals... Yes, but I'm going to go ahead and write it this time. Negative 7 plus 2 over 5 plus 3. So I have negative 5 over 8. Anybody have any issues with that? All right, let's knock out 17, please. M equals 9 minus... 19 over negative 3 plus 3. And we have a little bit of an issue here. Yes, thank you. Zero in the denominator. All right. Are you allowed to divide by zero? Let's say you forgot. If you try that on your calculator, the calculator will tell you you can't do it. Right. So that should tell you that it's what? Undefined. All right. Which means it's a vertical line. Okay. I thought anything was the same number to that. I thought it just the answer. Like no, no, you that. But see, now some of you are misunderstanding the difference between finding the slope and graphing the line and writing the equation. You with me? I'm not asking you what's the equation. You're right. The equation here would be x equals negative three. But I'm not asking you for the equation. I'm asking you for the what? The slope, not the equation. That's the difference, Mr. Williams. Okay. You hear me on that? That's a good question. All right, I'm not asking for the equation. I'm asking for the slope. So everybody looks at like on number 19. Let's calculate the slope again. M equals 1 minus 1 over 15 plus 21, which is 0 over 36. And 0 over anything is what? 0. If you forgot that, take your calculator and do 0 divided by 36. And your calculator will tell you zero divided by 36 is what? Zero, exactly. Okay. Now let's take a look at 21. What's the slope? Well, you just make the triangle from this point down to this point, and then from this point to this point. All right. Now, this is the change in Y, change in Y. This is the change in X. Change in Y is equal to what? Not 10, negative 10. Then I move to the right, how many? Four, it looks like to me, correct? Is it three or four? Four. So now we reduce that fraction to what? Yes. Make sure you're telling me it's negative 5 over 2. Negative 5 over 2. Anybody have any issues with that? Now, you should be addressing yourself right now going, man, I've, I'm going through 2 thirds and I'm doing really good. All right. Or I've gone through 2 thirds and I know nothing. So you're trying to decide how much work you need to do. What? No, no, no. That's just for your information. Okay. No, the slope is negative five halves. Slope equals negative five halves. All right, let's check out 23. Write the equation of the line in point slope form that passes through this. Tell me, go, Caroline. Thank you, kiddo. Perfect. 
All right, point slope form. Everybody should be able to write it. Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. All right, if you can't write that, you, you haven't been doing your work. All right, that's the point slope form. Anybody have any questions with that? Am I done with that? Yeah, yeah because it says point slope form. Now let's do 24. The reason why I wanna do 24 is because it says write it in what? Slope intercept, right above slope intercept, write Y equals MX plus B. All right, Liv. Amazing, that's the first step. That is the first step. That would be good if it said point slope, but we got to convert it into slope intercept. So go from there. Okay. Uh, yes. Um, I added the two X and I subtracted the four. Subtract the four. No, 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 no. Nope, we got to put it in y equals only. Oh. Just move the four. You with me? Not standard form. This is y equals mx plus b. So your final here after you subtract four is what? Go ahead. No, you actually distributed the negative. Oh. Because you thought you were doing the other one. Just tell me what the answer is now. Y equals... You agree? And then? Okay. Yes. All right, I'm happy with that. Okay. Everybody with me on 24? Anybody have any questions with 24? All right, let's take a look at 26. Slope intercept, right above slope intercept. Y equals MX plus B. So what are we missing? Slope, that's right. We got to find the slope. So we got to calculate the slope on number 26. M equals Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. What do we get for a slope on this, guys? Anybody else get negative three over seven? All right. I'm happy with that. Well, look at the board, look at your work and see where you went, made your mistake. All right, now I've got to work on it. Go. Yes, sir, go. Amazing. Good job. So far, that's point slope, but we're trying to get it into y equals mx plus b. So now my next step is to distribute the negative three sevenths. All right. So now we have y minus seven equals negative three sevenths x plus 18 over seven. Now, how did I get 18 over seven? Well, I just multiplied three times six. Now I have to add seven, just stay with me, add seven. So Y equals negative three sevenths X plus seven is the same as 49 over seven. And 49 plus 18 is 67 over seven. To add, add seven plus 49 sevenths on your calculator. 
Mom Grief, what? Tell me. Yeah, I added seven to 18 sevens. Yeah. Yeah. And, but, but you would add those two numbers together, though. All right. Good job, bud. Uh -huh. Oh, Susan.